Then I want to try my hand at pottery. I haven't haven't gotten into the area of pottery. And the other day I went to uh, a Caddo pit fire and watched them pit fire some uh, pottery. It was pretty interesting, so I thought I'd give it a try. A lot of the clay that uh, the Caddo's use is river clay. It comes from the river. Uh, I'm a bit, I'm a little ways away from a decent river where I get some clay, but I've got clay in my backyard, so I thought I'd give it a try. So this is basically a test to see if the clay will hold up. Uh, the Caddo's in the past have used ground up pottery as temper. They've used a bone as temper and mussel shells. Uh, what I did, I went and picked some mussel shells up by the lake and went ahead and processed those. So got them all ground up. So this is some mussel shell. This is some of the clay, pottered clay that I've uh, dug out of the backyard. I went ahead and dried it and then ground it. And then I mixed the two, uh, one part mussel shell to two parts clay to, to temper my clay. This is some of the clay that uh, I made out of that mixture. And then out of this clay, I went ahead and made a small, small pot. This is going to be my test pot to see if it'll hold up uh, to the temperatures and when I do a pit fire. And I'm just going to pit fire this one pot to see how that works. And if it holds up, then I'll go ahead and make a larger pot uh, with this amount of clay I've got here. Then we'll do another pit fire. So we'll head out to the pit fire. Okay, we're getting our fire going we're wanting to get some coals kind of start with and then we'll put uh, the pot down next to the coals to start warming it up so kind of get this burned down we'll get some more firewood gathered up okay it's starting to burn good we're gonna we're gonna fire this small pot and see how how the clay and mussel shell mixture works and I've also got another pot that I'm going to fire and this is just it's commercial clay and this is a pot I made in Jerry Redcorn's uh, class so it's probably going to need to get warmed up quite a bit to drive off any moisture and we'll see if we can see if it'll fire without uh, blowing up so we'll give it a try okay start to bird down a little bit we got some good heat coming off we're going to Go ahead and move the pots up a little closer to the fire. Start getting them warming up. That one. There we go. We'll just tell. Uh, and we'll just keep turning them every so often. That way they would kind of warm up on all sides. Now we got them moved up there. Now pretty close to the fire. They're warming up really good. So we'll keep uh, soaking them for for a while before we uh, move them on in totally. Well, our commercial clay pot did make it. It just had a divot blow off the blow off the side, which I was afraid of that. But oh well. But uh, our native clay pot, it's still it's still doing good so far. So uh, we've got them pushed in pretty close right now. But as soon as this burns down just a little bit more, we'll open it up and make a bed of coals and or open up have coals in a circle then we'll move the pot to, to the inside and see how it does okay we're gonna slide the ashes back and kind of make a, a little spot right in the middle and then we'll move the good pot to the middle and then we'll slowly build up wood over the top of it and get it uh, get it burning
and we got some of the smaller twigs on it. And we'll slowly keep adding more twigs. I have to move this camera back because I'm going to heat my camera up too much to, to mess it up. So I'll move this back. Well, we'll see how it turns out. The pot's right in the middle, not the base, and we'll let this uh, burn down. And we'll cover it up and blacken the pot. And after all, we'll take it out. Well, it wasn't long after covering up, we heard a sound like a shotgun shell went off, so I'm not thinking the best. Hopefully it was a rock or something that was down in the sand. But I got a feeling it might have been the pot. So We'll cover this up in a second, and then we'll open it back up. Hey, it wasn't the it wasn't the pot that blew up. Cool. Pot turned out good. Well, cool. We'll let it uh, we'll let it cool off. Did good. I was thinking though. I was thinking it was a goner. We heard a big bang, but uh, looks like it's done good. So we'll let it cool down where we can actually touch it, and, and we'll take some pictures of it.